Welcome to Simply Fallout. This is where I, Simply Hammer, play Fallout and kind of just give a whole bunch of gameplay on it and kind of show you off the game and its gameplay and all of its new features and all that. I'm kind of new to all this and I'm still trying to get my mic all set up. But I'm kind of getting the hang of this and now I have to get used to talking to myself. Anyway, for this is my first video on, with a mic, so I'll be probably a little rough, so please <sighs> cut me some slack, but feel free to like and subscribe if you like. Sir, and helping secure this little section is a good example of the new talking system. You now get four choices. You can all, you can interrupt them when they're talking. And you also notice your guy will go like, uh-huh, yep. And will like skip it whenever you skip. Like you can use one of the four choices and talk to the guy. And it's pretty simple. If any of you guys are worried about subtitles being there all the time, I just put them on there so I can read it and skip it if I need to. Control system. Those of you already are familiar with it, strength is basically how much you can carry and is a good depiction of your melee attacks. Perception is your awareness, which allows you, in the past game, it allowed you to see things on the radar further. But in this one, it affects your accuracy in bats, and it's... I haven't really experienced any gameplay where it was... I'm not sure if it increases your map range on this one. Endurance is your health and action point drain from sprinting. Very useful. I like to have quite a bit of it myself that's a new because I like to sprint a lot so charisma ability to charm and convince others affects your chance to persuade and dialogue and prices when you barter this one is purely for like exactly what it says intelligence this one is totally different from the past games. Usually, the amount of intelligence you have depicts how much stat points you get. Instead, you get um, like a leveling perk chart system. Yeah, like I said, sorry if this is really rough. I'm this is my first time making a video, and sorry if I seem too nervous. Anyway, back to this. On this one, it depicts how much experience points you gain from doing things it also does some other things i'll get to the where the special where all the special fits into your game later on agility this will depict your maximum action points and apparently affects your ability to sneak i had a really low agility on my first run I didn't notice it, but then again, I didn't successfully sneak that much. Sneaking is really hard in this game. But I haven't leveled it up very much, so I haven't really got into it. Luck. In this one, it actually has a good regard on what weapons you get from chests and stuff. It increases your chance to critical hit as well, which is a system which I'll get to later. For now, let's name this bad boy. What else would I name it? <laughs> Two, three, four, five. Give him a good. Let's give him some endurance. I want a good amount of intelligence as well. Uh, 
Let's see. Mm hmm. I'm mainly just kind of winging it for this run. This is the first run I'm going to be running with you guys. Um, basically, I'll be following this guy through main points in the. Just good. I won't be spoiling anything. Except probably part of this next little bit to kind of show you how your character develops. I will not be spoiling the main storyline. Anyway, back to this. Say hello to El Pip Boy. In the settings, you can change the color and all that good stuff. I typically go with this white. Just to be weird. Give it a kind of normal feel. A new thing added to this game. You see, physics is based on what you're standing on. So if what you're standing on is moving... Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Boom. If you're standing on something that's moving, you move with it. It can be a little trippy sometimes. This allows things like elevators and stuff to be in Fallout. It's... Kind of neat. And this is the last chance to change your character. It's weird because you don't really get to play the game or do anything before you change your special stats. So it gets kind of wonky after you leave. But as you can change it anytime using your level ups, even though it's really bad sometimes if you don't get it right as you get out. I wouldn't really worry about it as you can just build your character around it. But still, be really careful what you set your special sets to, and I'll give you a nice overview on that in just a minute. Let's get out of here. Enjoy your return to the surface, and thank you for choosing Vault Tech. Loading screens are not completely gone. Even though 99% of the wasteland does not have loading screens, some buildings will, and so far it's only been a small problem. I'm a patient waiter. I don't have. I'm not really angry when I have to wait a few minutes. Usually, it isn't very long. <sighs> breath, breath of fresh air. <sighs> But just console doesn't get the cool shadow features. I'm not really too mad about it. Like I've said in the past, I've I'm playing on the Xbox right now and I get decent gameplay. I'm not I'm satisfied, is a good way to put it. Not gonna be all it's not fast enough. Holy crap. It just like fell apart like I cut it. Anyway. Bottle cap. That's one thing that bugs me in this game. 
is that there is not a single mention of teaching your character that bottle caps are currency. I mean, if you think about it, there wasn't much of a talk about it in the other game. In the other games, but still. Forward! Back to town we go. Flowers! Bridge! Anyway, that's just me being weird. Okay, forward again. Out of action points. It is advice to put your gun down while running. Okay, now for a small notice, since it's the first time you come across it in the game. Now to show you some of the kind of new traps. They had this kind, something kind of like this in Skyrim with trap chest. But sometimes you'll find triggers along with a some bombs and stuff. It's pretty easy to see sometimes, but at other times it'll be on the other side of the door or something. You can't see them. So, one of the new features is basically to blow you up. Anyway, now for a small view on the hacking and lockpicking attempts. Hacking is about the same as usual, except I've noticed they've seem to have made it harder. Even though it's the same basic thing, they've used words with a lot more variety in them. So it's harder to find the exact password. Let me see if I can get this right on the first try. Ah, look yes. go. Look go, look go. Okay, and like usual, you can back out and manually do stuff. Wait, does this have the feature to unlock a chest? No, it doesn't. Sweet. Usually, the terminal will be connected to the chest, though it is better for XP-wise to do them both separately. And what is that? Anyway, everything is basically luck-based, so... Or, that's what I figure. Like, finding random stuff in chests, the higher your luck, the higher chance to get something cool. Like, that was a higher grade of a uh, material. Which I'll get more on that later. Locking, lockpicking is also harder than usual. There's a greater variety in lockpicking spots. Though, I am really good at this. <laughs> On this one, it seems like your bobby pins carry over their durability between safes. So even if you do really good on one safe, there's a chance you're going to break it the next one. That's what I've noticed so far. Either that or I just break a lockpick every single time I lockpick. But anyway, as for lockpicks, you can usually find them in mirrors and stuff like that. I, I usually find about a seven at a time in the mirrors. There's a one in the, my original house. I'm in there now. Slow fatty. Run, fat boy, run. Anyway. Anyway, like most houses have that mirror cabinet where there's a cabinet inside the mirror in the bathroom. It's really neat. And it's... Oh, man, there's not any this time. Dang it. And there went that theory. Mr. Handy Fuel. Oh, and this is a small spoiler. You can pick up the special book for a attribute. Um... Let's give me more intelligence. I have to make up for it somehow. Alrighty. Now for a small tutorial on 
the junk you get. You can store all the junk you get into the um, workbench system. It'll put all the junk style stuff that can be used to make other things. Now the way it works is that each item can be broken down into different ingredients like it shows on the screen. Gears, well of course that turns into gears, but anyway. The gold watch will turn into two gears, gold, two gold, and a spring. Hot plate will turn into two circuitry, copper screw, and really? Here I thought that was something rare. <sighs> anyway, pretty it's pretty easy to get a hang of. Basically just turns you into a grab everything kind of person. And just so you know, anything adhesive like duct tape, super glue, stuff like that is almost completely necessary. Adhesive is one of the rarest, well not rare, but it's used for everything. So it's a good idea to try to grab as much duct tape, super glue, anything along those lines. Like this junk here. Can all be junked. Ooh, grenades in a trash can. Thank you, Wasteland. Ooh, another bridge! With a big hole in it. Who would have thought? <laughs> Holy crap, that is bright. I found a bluer Volt 111 jumpsuit in there. And of course, what everyone wants to see, dog meat. What's up? Hey boy, what are you doing out here all by yourself? You seem like an okay guy. Okay then, let's stick together. Wait times, wait times, wait times. Now works pretty well with melee weapons. I don't know about you guys, but I had some difficulties in some of the games. Not being in range and stuff like that. And attacking while sprinting! Very useful for melee. Ah, bad at bat, bat stop it! Drinking radiated water. What's wrong with you? You must be some kind of stupid. I still have one bobby pin and I'm really nervous about losing it.
Anyway, I've leveled up, so now I can showcase that to you. Fusion cores. Fusion cores are good. Just so you know, fusion cores are for powering power armor. Now, to kind of conclude episode one of whatever it is I'm doing right now, whatever you want to call it, um, kind of a mix of a gameplay and walkthrough and tip guide and yeah, just trying to do my own thing. I'm new to this, so don't expect like professional grade walkthroughs and stuff like that, but when I get, I hope to finally get a good hang of this and get used to this and try not to be as nervous as I am during this video because I mean, come on. I'm kinda bad at this. Eh, um, I won't say that. I'll probably edit that out. But anyway. Now for a walkthrough on the leveling. So your special stats, as talked about in the very beginning of this episode, dictate whether or not we can actually buy the perk that is associated with that special tribute. So basically, the higher these are, the farther down you can go down the list. This only allows you to buy the first perk in the tr in that on that perk list. For example, pickpocket has one, two, three, then four. Each level takes more and more actual levels. This allows you to have really cool abilities, like say, I like this one. Water is your ally. You no longer take radiation damage from swimming and can breathe underwater. If you don't think that's useful, then you've obviously never drowned. Anyway. As for which perk you get, it's really hard to decide in the beginning because you don't really know which guns you want to use. My advice is to hold off on all the, um perks that allow you to do more damage with guns. That is until later. You will need them later on in the game. My advice is to pick perks that assist you. Like say... Well, I wouldn't... You, mm. My advice is to choose perks that agree with you. The crafting perks you can't really go wrong with because you will need to craft. But still, in the beginning, you don't have very much stats. Or don't have much resources to build gun mods. So I... so basically what I usually end up doing is buying the locksmith and hacker perks. This allows me to get access to more loot in the beginning. It's a good starter perk for me. But that again, that's for me. Everyone has their own idea of what's best for them. My advice is just kind of experiment it with it yourself until you get used to it. Oh. Scrounger probably wouldn't hurt either. Like I said, I'm probably gonna go with locksmithing for my first one. That way I can get access to more loot. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you enjoy. Like, subscribe, whatever you wish. As, as I said, I'm just starting out on this. I've already done a few test videos on Black Ops 3. I might go back and do Black Ops 3 videos, but there's no telling. Anyway, um... Hmm. I have to think of some clever outro. And hammer out.